So, Vortex, I was reading this really interesting article about the old factory since that's apparently it's the strongest sense that we have. And it only takes two synapses to reach the brain. So all of the other senses take a much longer time. Like when you hear something, it'll take much longer for like your brain to register, like in relation to your experience and your memories and all that, versus the olfactory, which I, I just love that word, I think it's cool. I just imagine a factory of, of noses. <laughs> I'm sure they'll have one in the future. Well, if you think about it, this is why, like, I'm opposed to, like, a lot of the stuff involving COVID. Like, you know, they stick that thing up your nose. And I know so many people that still don't have, like, their sense of smell and taste back the way that it, it was before they got COVID. And, uh, you know, how did they know they had COVID? They had to prove that they had COVID, right? How did they prove that? Well, I think that, that whole thing, that scenario is pretty demented. And I know that I'm one of the few that thinks that because a lot of people don't want to look too far into things. Like, they know that shit's ominous, but they're not willing to dig deeper. And they're not willing to understand, like, just how demonic everything is that, like, involves you know, stuff that we're required to do all the time. If you think about public school, if you think about the way that that whole system is set up, if you look at the healthcare system, um, you know, all these businesses and corporations and the economy and just everything is so fucked up. But anyway, I know that I'm not very smart. Like, I'm not, like, some intellectual about this kind of stuff. Like, I couldn't tell you, like, um, like, oh, well, this, in this Gallup study, blah, 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 you know, I don't give a fuck about that. I mean, I, it's somewhat interesting, but not interesting to me. I'd rather just pay attention and ask questions and talk to different people about stuff. It's funny, I hate people with a passion. I just, they're so annoying and stupid, but it's like, I still want to talk to them, though. There's still stuff that I can get from them, which I know sounds very uh, narcissistic. Sorry about that. I don't like narcissists. So I'm like worried I'm one of them. I'm like, you're probably not if you're worried about it. <laughs> Immediately when I do something, or I say something on this channel, and I, like, I recognize it as like just being so arrogant. And I, I don't like it. I DON'T LIKE IT! <laughs> just want you to know that, okay? We are fully aware. We have like the, what do we call them? The HD. <laughs> the IMAX experience of like knowing how shitty we are. <laughs> So we can't enjoy anything we say or do that's fucked up for very long, okay? Oh, hey, 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 Look at this. Wait for it, 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 bitch. Go, bitch. Go, bitch. Go, bitch. Yes, 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 yes. Living my dream. I'm living my dream. I'm living my dream. I'm living my dream. You know what I'm talking about here? Look, see that? It's way better this way. It is. It's way better this way because we don't have to back out. See? They had to back out. But we, we don't. We can just pull right out. We can just pull it. They have to back out. But we don't. He had to back out. We don't. It's brilliant. It's just a little 
shit like that. It's little shit like that that just makes my fucking day. This is one fine example of me living my dream, okay? <laughs> You're so silly. So fucking silly. <laughs> I really am silly. I don't know how else to be. But anyway, I, I had a topic, didn't I? I had a topic and the topic went bye 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 bye. It's like any time that I have an idea. Did you see that guy? He works here. He works here. That's why he's got that vest on. That yellow vest means I work here. I have a job. I don't rely off the government because I'm awesome. You don't rely off the government. You mean you rely on the government? You live off the government. I think that's what you. Whatever, man. <laughs> yeah, I used to... Well, I don't want to say I lived off the government because I still, like, kind of had a job. But the reason why I got food stamps in the first place was because I was addicted to alcohol. And I kept getting fired from jobs <laughs> because of that shit. So... Yeah, man. Food stamps. And the thing is, when I was on... EBT, it's like I had a bunch of friends who, needless to say, don't look like me, okay? And they were all telling me to sell them. They were telling me how to do that. And I was like, you know, if I start doing that, I won't stop doing that. And I already have, like, you know, compulsive spending, compulsive stealing, you know, I think that it's just kind of a demonic thing. Like, stealing is really bad. The reason why I did it was because I, I wanted to feel like a badass. I felt like I was playing a role. Like, I was in, like, a heist movie or some shit. I really felt like that. And that's not that's not me, like, trying to make excuses for really terrible behavior. Where I was just, you know, not a good person. I mean, I should be in jail. I should be in jail for things that I've done. So... I mean, does the statute of limitations even exist? Because there are people, like, going down for rape, and they can't even prove that that rape happened, but they're going to prison. Mm-hmm. Well, the whole Danny Masterson thing, I wonder if that's, like, psycho. Because he's a white dude. He's a white dude, but he was into Scientology, though. He's in Scientology, and I wonder if that's what they're doing. Like, if they're... What the fuck is wrong with my nose ring? Um. <laughs> it seems like they're just trying to make an example of him because he's a white man. Yeah. I feel bad for him, though, if it's not true. But then again, he's a celebrity, and I hate celebrities. But it's still not right. But it is California, though. It's fucking California. California's a pretty evil state. It's run by Satan. Not that the rest of the United States is not, but I feel like there's just more shady shit going on in California than any other state. It's like California, New York, Texas, and Florida. Mm. Washington, Oregon. Yeah, all of them. Just all of them, really. <laughs> but yeah, California, though, is really bad. This is a beautiful state, though. Beautiful state, mountains, ocean, plenty of shit to do out there. Somewhat good people. Whenever I talk, I talk generally. I'm not talking about every single person, okay? So if I make statements that sound racist or sexist or homophobic or, you know, if anything, I'm probably like an America phobe. <laughs> like I'm, I'm afraid of Americans because they're possessed by demons and they don't seem to know it. Um, I mean, they've managed to, like, idol worship a lot of things about this country that are not good. And things that, you know, maybe with good intentions they had. You know, I don't think you're just stupid if you're a patriot or something. But I think it's kind of silly to keep supporting something that hates you once you did. You know? It doesn't have any respect for human life or integrity, morality. It's pretty godless, actually.